Hey guys, it's uh, been a while since I've done a video um, where I'm actually talking. Um, but today, I was gonna, I think I'm gonna take what I have, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna make a time lapse out of it too. But I also wanted, for those who are interested, the uh, sort of raw, uncut uh, video of me just basically talking like a lunatic. Uh, as I draw. Um, so what I have here is a, a little sketch that I did um, just for a rough outline. Uh, I wanted to start with something uh, but I want to be drawing a shell back Drake uh, from the Provoker Bleakrath game. Uh, never seen an image of a shellback drake, so this is kind of going to be guesswork, um, but hopefully it turns out pretty well. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, if you haven't seen the Provokers, um, just definitely check them out. Uh, they're an awesome D&D uh, &D group. It's absolute, absolute tabletop, is, I think they're connected to pretty strongly, um, but I'm just going to dive into this. I've got some music running in the background that you shouldn't be able to hear, hopefully. Uh, if you can, uh, that's not good, because copyright everywhere can be flagged. But at the moment, I'm going to start listening to um, Bring on the Thunder. Uh, yep, Bring on the Thunder. I think it's by Legend of Thunder, or is that the album? I can't tell. Anyways, so I'm going to start that. Alright, so, yes, I like to work with music uh, in the background. I'm just going to make a new layer here. going to drop the opacity of the first layer. And I have a, a reference image of a different, different drake that someone made. And I'm using that as a, a guide. So, oh, I used the eraser one, not supposed to. I love the back button, it's like one of my favorite things in the world. So yeah, that foot is going to need to be fleshed out more, but I don't really care about it too much at the moment, because there's a lot of other things that need to be designed, uh, so I'm just going to sort of ignore it um, and, and move on. So yeah, the jaw is going to be fun. looking at nostrils they look like eyes right now but eyes are actually going to be back here. Hmm. Pull out my trusty eraser. The mouth is probably going to be one of the biggest challenges, just trying to make it look right. But we're going to use that as a general reference for now. Like I said, I'm just going to ignore it for the moment because there's a lot of things that have to be done. So 
so this other foot is the whole thing is probably just going to be tricky I don't know why I keep saying this is going to be tricky <laughs> but junk, uh, black squiggles. Um, and that might be too far out. No, it's not too far out. So up and back. Like I said, very rough right at now at this stage. Not happy with the way this entire uh, head looks. So we're going to have to... This is right here. This is too far out. I'm trying to think where my mistake happened. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. <laughs> I, I like doing this where you just make a new layer, drop the opacity of the last layer. to work again. That's that's where my problem happened. Is it kind of recurves back out? got the powerful front front arms these just massive shoulders the trick is going to be though making it look like it's actually something so we got a little foot pad here Oops. So one thing I don't like about this tablet is the I trigger the uh, the S Pen all the time. The little, there's a little button on it that pops up this menu, and I I, I don't like it because <laughs> it gets in the way sometimes. All right, so I think the head on a whole needs to be smaller. And this is 
is not large enough comparatively. Sort of. This is going to be the background, so it's going to need to be dark. This also, I think I did this one sort of right at least. But it's going to be in the background, so it doesn't really matter either. Alright. So I can think I can delete this old one. Not really, not really using it very much. Drop the opacity on this one. Drop the opacity on this one. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in on here. Got the mouth. Looking at what I have here, need to drop the opacity more. All right. Messing with my brush a little bit. So I have. Da -da -da. That is a long pool. Okay, so it's got this little bump here. And then the whole thing kind of focuses. And then we've got nostrils. sort of have a very muscular neck here. The eye of the tiger. Um, not, not really, but... I don't know if I want to put a pupil in yet, because that might ruin part of the... So we have a mouth here, some kind of, and then the jaw comes up and sort of gets enveloped in the in the the, the wrinkled skin. All right, I like that mouth a lot better than what it used to be, but it's going to need a, a bit of teeth. Uh, <laughs> drakes are not very much without teeth. Now, the thing with teeth is they don't actually have to be that large most of the time. Like, large is definitely in intimidating uh, got some skin in there but the the scary part with with teeth is the, the strength of the jaw because that's where the the teeth will pierce but the the jaw will The jaw will break the whatever they're they're trying to bite. Alright. Alright, so I'm just sort of working on Some facial constructions here. Just sort of guessing at the moment.
Alright, so that was important. Another big thing that I'm gonna have to add is the shale on these drakes. Um, so I'm actually gonna look at some turtle shells real quick. I know it's not exactly like that, but I want to know how it connects, because it's just going to be on the back. It, it's... That's what he said. It's just going to be on the back, pretty much. It's probably going to have to be pretty wide-brimmed to actually... Yeah, just sort of rounds out. Except for over that, we want there has to be sort of room for the neck. I think it's gonna have to drop down a bit on the back there, just for sort of their perspective. Go for it. Yep. I sort of have these. Triangular feet. Toes, not feet. Their feet are actually kind of triangular too. I'm going to go better for the back here. I'm not used to drawing these kind of creatures, so it's kind of an experiment. This is wrong. This is not working here. Try again. The problem with, and it's taken me a while to sort of come to terms with this, is you're, you're so afraid to ruin um, something that's why, you know, I never like inking is because, you know, I'm, I'm so afraid that I'm going to ruin that still doesn't look right. And sometimes it's necessary just to be willing to scrap whatever you're working on and try again. Um, what is that? Oh, that's the shell. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to sort of basic constructions on this, really. I'm gonna get rid of all these other distractions, except for I need that one. 
probably that one too. So there's sort of a one. Oh. Hmm. And then it's off of this. I made the mistake again of drawing it flipped to the sort of the image I'm working off of. My reference. So, you have to sort of take a moment in your mind. That's a little bit better. Let me clean up the inside. It's still too. Thick, I guess is the right word. All right, I'm gonna work on something else for a little bit because I probably get frustrated with that quick enough. So you know the way to avoid making a lot of mistakes in, in my mind is also to, to spend time not working on whatever you're trying to do. It seems counterintuitive, but So we gotta do some toes, toes and hands. These are things that I wish creatures never had, but I guess that's half the fun is learning how to draw things like that. Oh, that looks awful. for now. I'm probably going to get frustrated with this foot pretty quickly too. Okay, I see there's not enough. Move on from that one to do, 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 do. I 
next thing is this is a background one, so once again we don't really care as much about it. at all. Alright, let me get rid of this one. Use another layer. I just want, don't really want to change some of the layers, but I want to be able to, oh bother, come on, come on, there we are. Just want to be able to see what it, what it looks like without, There's gotta be a better tool for this. So I'm just using white on a layer to hash out where the shell is. And actually, oops. All right. So this is probably the point where I'm going to take a break, um, go do something for another few hours, uh, and then I will think about this again. Um, so far, yeah, it's not looking too, too bad. I've done worse, I guess. But, uh, alright, so I'm going to take a break. Nothing like a good break to remind you on how bad your drawing is. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm back, uh, and I'm definitely not uh, happy with what, what I'm seeing. <laughs> That's for all of that. Alright, so let me see. I'm not using this anymore, so I'm going to delete it. I think I can just merge that down, merge it down, merge it down. All right, we got one layer. Drop the opacity on it and get back to work. Whoa, that brush is way too big. What was I using that for? Oh, I was drawing the. Uh, Drawing the uh, the the blank spot on the shell. The problem is I'm trying to do like five things at once. Where I'm trying to draw, I'm also listening to music, which is something that I do when I draw. I highly recommend it. But, uh... Alright, I like that a little bit better. right there, a little eraser action. Oh, I probably ought to drop the opacity on my quote-unquote pencil here. Uh, and raise that a bit. Fiddling with the tools, something I always do, something 
probably should always do whenever you're now I honestly this thing does not look terrifying enough yet um, it might be the turtle shell it also might be that I'm bad at drawing uh, but I'm trying to think on ways I might be able to fix that first of all like your your jaw here the gums are going to guide around the teeth it's kind of a pain to do but it looks really nice when you're done so you gotta and then it's gonna form a little bit of a especially here at the end where it's gonna form a little bit of a, um, a lip I guess um, I think around these Now, I don't think you would have a very ornate chin, so we're going to give him sort of a, a blocky instead of what I had there beforehand. Alright. Now, lizards have skin coming from, like, the underside of the... Humans have it too, but with lizards, it's a lot more pronounced, so I'm going to try to draw that in and see if I like it. Alright, just... One of the other problems with me is I don't really like work and like I choose a spot and I work on it I just sort of like wherever I want to go <laughs> I mean there's whole portions of the face over here that haven't been done and I'm all the way over at the tail people get mad at me sometimes when I'm doing stuff because that's the same way I, I work on anything as I I immediately just go everywhere uh, and that kind of ruins so where does that go So give him a little bit of like an alligator look. Alligator turtle look. Now the shell I'm going to come back to in a little bit. I want to make it a very deserty outcropping sort of thing. over here. So one of the things that I realize for the, the style um, is you have this sort of the toes go in and then they come back up and that's what makes them they feel bony they feel longer than they actually are. They give that very reptilian Gaily feel. Uh, this one I'm going to hate, this arm back here.
but maybe if I apply the same principle that's I don't think it's quite that pronounced. Actually, it might be more of a because the claw in the back there is actually goes behind a little bit. No, I'm guessing this is a fictitious animal. So Ooh, it's like a little tiny toe, except for we don't want a little tiny toe. We want to get rid of that and have an actual toe. Call that good. All right, so we're gonna go for the shell now. So I think I'm gonna. So they're from. A, I think they're from a, a black ash desert, basically. So. I'm gonna see what I can find and do some quick searches. I feel like this would be sort of a vol volcanic looking. So it could either be really smooth or it could be really porous. So the, the trick is, don't want too much of a, a repetitious pattern, or else, you know, it will look like it's manufactured. Um, All right, that looks all right. I might come back to it later, but what I'm gonna do is just do some very basic shading of sorts. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go for color. I've had a really hard time trying to get color right, so I think I'm just gonna go for 
some very basic shading. Actually, what I'm going to do first is this is something I forget to do. Probably ought to just fill in the entire thing with a base color. Oh. Never mind, scratch all of that. I don't saw anything. I, the mouth is incomplete. That doesn't that doesn't bode well for this creature. <laughs> it's missing half of its jaw. <laughs> See how that looks. Right, let me go back. Pull out the color picker. And I'm on the wrong layer. That's always a great. It's always great fun. base color. As you can tell, I don't really care about lines right now. I'm just trying to get it down uh, in a format that works. Just want to fill everything. And then we're going to pull out try airbrushing it. The problem with the airbrush, it doesn't get all the corners. It's good for the transitions. Alright. Where's my... there we are. So yeah, these limbs are going to be darker to draw attention away. Make them seem like they're a little further away. We're going to want to have most of our contrast on the face here. But, as I said, I'm not really... That was too dark. I'm really not stupendous at this yet. So, bear with me. <laughs> I already did my good part. Now, if you're watching, you know, it's just... Basically me guessing. That accomplished nothing. I'm basically back to the same color that I had there. Same value. It's not a color. Okay. Um, that is not right. Sort of guessing where the light is is all that I'm doing right now. Um, Putting that doesn't feel right. Try something else. I think this whole thing would probably. Music player that I am alive. All right, so yeah, like I said, just guessing is basically my life right now. Um, you know, I'm like I said, I need a lot more practice with this, and this is really not the way to be getting practice. Is uh, trying on an imaginary creature that you don't have a reference for. Um, that doesn't really bode well for for 
learning how shading works. Uh, but we're going to try our best. I'm going to try my best. You guys are not going to care. Um, not that you guys are not going to care. You're not going to be trying your best. You are going to be trying your best. I give up. You are going to be trying your best, just not on this piece of work. Alright. I'll wake up tomorrow morning, look at it, and hate it. Such is the life of the artist. You know, when you're starting, there's always like these moments where it's like, you know, you know, I love what I'm doing, and there's, oh, I really like that piece, and then as I've gotten better, there's been less and less things that I've really loved. <laughs> Just see all of the mistakes. So like I said, we're going for maximum as we with this uh this face here we're going for maximum uh amount of of contrast to to make it pop a bit more fill in some of these other areas So we're going to be darker back there. Like I said, guessing, don't take anything I, I'm doing with uh, any amount of actual. Alright, so I think we're going to need an airbrush. Small one. Need something light. That, that does not work. That's a little bit better. All right. Um, we're going to grab some of this darker junk. Just brushing on some stuff. actually add a bit of yeah that looks decent all right now comes the fun part break out the eraser and everything hey sorry for the blip I just had to take care of dinner so oh my the eraser is bigger than I remembered just doing an outside sweep right now just scale the eraser down Touch my headset better. This is the part that will try my patience. Because I don't have any patience. So. As you can tell, I'm highly patient and refined in the way I do my artwork. Uh, it's not sketchy at all. I, I could have spent more time maybe on making the line art very nice for this. Um, but 
because I was trying to record the whole process uh, talking I decided not to just leave it as it is make sure I don't accidentally hit the stop recording button because that would be bad What's the worst is it's happened to me a few times because I've been trying out different uh, recording software and, and other things. Um, is It's when uh, you, you work on something for a while and then the recording that you do f fails. It sucks because you can't really do that again. I think after this, I will probably add a shadow underneath this guy. This little Drake, cute little thing. Uh, and then after I do that, I will probably drop some color down in the form of uh, just a, a, a layer on top that makes it Maybe go for that sort of the, if I change the background to a sort of parchmenty color, uh, and then and then made it sort of that brown ink that looks really cool. Um, it won't look really cool because, you know, I drew it, but uh, we can try to make it as, look as cool as we can. Just going to get in the... in there. Yeah, okay. What's the next song I'm listening to? I love music. I'm the kind of person who sings in the shower. I don't, like, sing the entire song. I just sing, like, three words over and over again. I'm also the person who practices accents in the shower, um, which would kind of be entertaining for my siblings sometimes. Uh, back when I was living at home, I would do it in the shower and, and uh, they could hear me and they never knew quite what I was gonna be doing. Uh, some days I was trying to do like a Russian accent and then it's French and then it's Gollum from Lord of the Rings and there was just no consistency. Alright, just edging around the f toes is here. Plural of toes is toeses. I am a literate person, I swear. Uh, and they come in here. Yeah, when you're working on something like this, you should take your time. Don't be like me. Don't be impatient. Take your time. Uh, <laughs> I know it's kind of horrible when I give advice like that and I'm not following my own rules, but... If you want to be better than me, which isn't that hard, you just be patient and take your time. <laughs> but my goal has just been to, to practice uh, a recent. And part of that is, is trying new things that are difficult, like, like this guy here. Um, like I said, I don't have a lot of experience with animals. So it, it was kind of a 
most of this is pretty boring. I don't like most of it, but I like the head. Uh, I think I did a good job there. Um, so I'm proud of like that eighth of the drawing. All right. What is that? Oh, okay. Put that away. All right. So let's find a brush here. And we're gonna go for dark. soft eraser and sort of come back soften that up a little bit uh, I'm gonna come back make another run to deal with that okay so I think that looks pretty good there we're gonna change this background to a faded parchment -y color and we're going to drop a uh, so this is going to have to be change the blending to color and let's get Get an actually a big brush. Um, that's not bad. I might play with it a little bit. I might make it a bit a little more saturated. I think that's about it. Hopefully you had fun. I know it's been a while since I've done a narrated video, but uh, I'm going to try to do more. Um, narrating videos is, is kind of difficult sometimes because uh, a lot of my videos, like I said, um, you know, I take breaks, but I'll take like um, breaks within days and I'll sort of interweave projects. Uh, but with this, I want to try to keep the same consistent thoughts. So this was all in a day. And, you know, I don't want to talk for too long, so to try to make the video shorter. Uh, so overall, that's kind of bad sometimes. But I might try, uh, I might do a time lapse uh, or do some time lapses and then go back and narrate them while they're, they're sped up. Uh, but, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, if there's something maybe you'd like to see me try to draw, pathetically, uh, you could leave a comment. Uh, if you liked the video, there's a like button for a reason. Uh, and if you'd like to see more, which I'm actually trying to be consistent and put stuff out, uh, you can subscribe and uh, there will be regular notifications. But thank you.